Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Business Data Warehousing, week number five. Uh, in this video, I will give a brief introduction of uh, the rest of the term, week number five, six, seven, and eight, as well as uh, talk a little bit about the assignments that you'll be doing for this week. I want to remind you that all assignments for these weeks will be uh, group work. Um, I'll talk to you about what you need to, need to do for this week and there will be a separate uh, demo videos uh, that will show you how to do the assignments. Um, here I'm sharing a uh, blackboard uh, with number five. As usual there is a list of objectives. Um, essentially we will be talking about ETL. Now that we have talked about in week number one through four general concepts about uh, data warehousing. Now we need to be able to do the labs uh, and be able to uh, use the um, analytical tools. And the first portion is the ETL process. Uh, extract, transform, and load. Um, there will be a multiple uh, different ways of doing that and I'll talk to you as I show you uh, what we're doing. Um, but I want you to know, understand what the ETL is, what the process is, and be able to perform it, and be able to reflect on your uh, process. Here is a list of the learning material uh, for you. Uh, there is a lesson plan and the videos that will be posted as soon as they are processed. And then here's a uh, ETL lab resources that you can use. Uh, here's a reminder of the group work. And here's uh, general resources that you can use and use them as uh, you see them fit. There are three assignments here. Um, there's a writing assignments uh, based on your reading and research and uh, watching the videos, um, perhaps reading some of these. I'd like you to answer these 10 questions. Um, the second assignment is for a, a lab assignment. Um, uh, I'd like you to actually do the ETL. Um, I'll provide you with the, um, the file, which I think I already did here. Um, Excel file and I'll show you how to do but um, as you watch the video I'd like you to submit this uh, with these uh, three items um, the uh, processed file uh, that is ready to load and the screenshot of the Visual Studio uh, showing the file transfer and the screenshot of the SQL Server showing the um, work file records uh, there are sample uh, uh, screenshots in the lesson plan. So if you download this lesson plan, uh, you should see here, uh, provided that uh, screenshot here, the first one, the screenshot of the Visual Studio, I'd like you to take a screenshot of the actual file transfer uh, with the two green uh, check marks showing the number of rows that are processed. Um, and then when you get to the end of the uh, ETL process that you actually have loaded uh, and uh, not just a staging, but a working uh, table. Uh, I'd like you to take a screenshot of this showing specifically the SQL Server instance uh, for your uh, whoever is doing in your group, showing the uh, both the staging and the uh, working uh, table and the script uh, that pulls the top 1,000. You, you don't have to show 1,000 here. Just uh, uh, whatever pulls up is, is rendered uh, is, is fine. So that, those are the three things that I'd like you to uh, submit for this assignment. And when you're finished, uh, make a, a group posting uh, reflecting on some of these questions that I have provided for you. So that's it for this week. Um, uh, we're now uh, just kind of wrapping up. We are beginning the uh, lab uh, portion of the term. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, but you know, if you, let me just say, uh, you know, when you download this here, uh, this is what you get. But it's basically what I already talked about. So here's a objectives, a reminder about the group work, uh, about the group uh, writing assignment, and here's the uh, the lab, and then here's the uh, the discussion board posting. So anyway, uh, that's it for this presentation. There will be other uh, videos posted for you and. I'm making multiple ones so that, uh, but it's taking a little bit of time, so 
Uh, it'll be posted as soon as it is ready sometime today. Um, look forward to receiving your work. Uh, have a good week. Take care and have a good Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.